Have you ever chunked a wedge or had a lot of issues around the green with your chipping and control? You can't trust it. In this video, we're going to help you control your path, the face, and using the proper mechanics to hit your chip shots crisp every time. All right, to start out, I'm going to be using an alignment stick here, and I've got a 60 degree. You can use whatever wedge you want. You can grab your 60, 56, and we're going to be holding this shaft the stick with the shaft here, all right? And practicing the takeaway. We don't want to, just like in the full swing and in our other videos, we explain, you know, the fault of coming inside and what that can cause and the inconsistencies that can come from it, okay? We want to maintain a proper takeaway and a smooth path for the right transition in the swing and in this little chip shot to be able to maintain the path and the sequence of motion properly, maintain that face stability through impact for consistent ball striking and turf interaction with the low point, especially on these wedge shots, these little chip shots. All right, so as I set up with this, I'm gonna have it on my front lead side, okay, against, against me here. And I'm gonna work on that takeaway coming straight back, okay? And you're gonna feel this shaft as you come back, it's gonna kinda work down your leg a little bit got some stuff in my pocket that's resisting it, but you're gonna feel it kind of roll down as you extend, you get your arms extending back, maintaining your wrist angles here, okay? If it comes off, if it comes off your leg, then you've ripped it inside or shallowing that club too early. We're going to maintain a nice structured, nice clean path on the takeaway to help us get set at the top and deliver the club into the ball. All right, so I'll hit a few shots here. Got 22 yards to this pin you see there. I'm gonna focus on that takeaway, getting that club out straight back and not coming off and ripping it inside. Because if we come here, then we have to save it with the wrists and we might get flippy and attack the ball with our hands. The idea here is to stay very connected with the upper body, letting the lower body rotate. So the path that this travels is following and being pulled by the body, and then the club face stays as quiet and consistent as possible. A little practice there. You know, I might do this, you know, a couple of times a week as I'm working on my short game, just making sure, checking the points and getting that club started where we want it to. So we lead, so the rest of everything can get pieced together the way we want it. So with that forward shaft lean, okay, wrist is set. Now my wrists are done all the way in the back of the swing. I'm staying extended. I'm not letting my arms fold. Left arm, my lead arm is straight. Right arm is nice and relaxed to maintain that wrist position so that face isn't moving if I change my wrists. Okay, and then just rotating my body, getting my weight shifted to my lead foot. You know, a lot of people when they do this, they also get all of their weight already preset on their lead foot so it's easier to pivot around it and just rotate the hips while maintaining that club face and have a consistent path. We're gonna show you a preview of one of our premium videos from our website and click the iCard up in the screen that will take you to our website for more great content. All right, Nate is going to use, this is a, a uh, training aid here. This is a five pound bar and we're gonna go through the set of motions of what it looks like at and post impact and pay attention to we've got these yellow ends that are very easy to see how the shaft moves through the impact and post impact sequence as i come into impact i've shallowed i'm driving through i've maintained my wrist angles and that club face okay now watch here as i drive through and my goal is up to the left my upper arms are going to be rotating, wrists 
are going to be very relaxed, maintaining their position through into the release. And you're going to see this pivot here where my left elbow, my left arm is going to rotate okay, externally here. My bicep is rotating externally. And then my right arm, right bicep is bicep is going to rotate internally. The upper arms are going to move. That club is pivoting in the center of the hands. And you're going to find yourself just flowing through, continuing that arc of the downswing into a three-quarter finish.